G'day, it's Melissa Shannon here and with the release of Photoshop Elements 2020 I've had quite a few questions and comments on my last YouTube video which is awesome and I'm happy to go ahead and answer those questions but I thought there might be some of you who might um, be interested in seeing the answers to these questions but you're not going to scroll through all the comments are you? So we're here with our FAQs. Now the first question I've had a few times is uh, what is the difference between the Photoshop Elements package and the Photoshop Elements and the Premiere Elements package? Now, this is last year's actual box. But as you can see, this um, has two programs. It's got Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements. Now, Premiere is the video editing software and Photoshop Elements is the photo editing software. So generally on this channel, you'll see me using um, Photoshop Elements and um, not Premiere Elements. And there is actually a secret third program that comes in the package. It is the Organizer. Now, the Organizer comes along with any um, purchase of Adobe Elements. If you get Photoshop Elements, it comes with the editor. If you get Premiere Elements, it comes with the, edit uh, the Organizer as well. Now, the organizer will help you manage and tag your photos and videos, whether you're using Photoshop or Premiere Elements. So I hope that explains it. That's why the software is more expensive when it comes with the two programs. You'll usually see it like this on the shelf or, you know, if you're buying it online, um, you'll notice that it has both names in there. Um, so it's up to you. If you want to just use the organizer to do some simple slideshows, you probably don't need Premiere. But if you want to edit your videos, chop pieces out, splice them together, add special effects, titles, you will need Premiere Elements. So the next question we have on our list is Windows 7. Does 2020 run in Windows 7? So with the release of Photoshop Elements 2020, Windows 7 is no longer supported. So if you have Windows 7, you'll actually want this baby because if you have the service pack for Windows 7, I think it's service pack one, uh, you can use Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements 2019, but you can't actually use the new version. I can't show you the new box because I haven't actually got it yet. It's only just come out on Thursday, so haven't got it in my hot little hands yet. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's sad news for those using um, Windows 7, but you still have access and you can keep on using your existing um, software, any version before 20. Um, 20 will run for you and you can continue to use it for as many years as it takes for you to upgrade. And of course, with Mac OS, if you want to see whether your OS is supported, you can head to um, digiscraphq.com slash PSE trial and that will take you to the page where it has all the information. And it's also listed under the system requirements on the back of the physical box if you're buying that in store. So the next question I've been getting is, can I upgrade? So with Adobe, they are so generous in their upgrade policy. You don't need to have the most recent version. You can have any previous version of the software and you can upgrade for the upgrade price. The upgrade edition is absolutely the same. You can wipe your computer and reinstall the upgrade version and you don't need to install the previous software and then upgrade. It just works perfectly from scratch. Um, so it doesn't matter whether you're using Photoshop Elements um, 10, uh, Photoshop Elements 13, you can upgrade and get that upgrade price. So that's really great. And the thing that Adobe does a really good job with their upgrade policies and you can always access any previous serial numbers that you've registered with Adobe in your Adobe account. Um, it's really easy to find them and it's really easy to find the downloads for the installers again if you ever need them. So speaking of installing things, another question I've got is, can you install 
Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements on two PCs. So if you have a computer, desktop, and a laptop, you might want to install the software on both. You do not have to buy two copies of the software to install it on two computers. Adobe gives you permission to do that, and then you are just required to only use one at a time. So if you're really installing it um, and for yourself, there's not going to be an issue. You can't be using two computers at the same time. Well, you could, but why would you? <laughs> um, so anytime you are actively using Photoshop Elements on your desktop, you won't actually be able to use it on the laptop because it actually has a little um, check-in process to do that. Um, but it does make it much more affordable. And as you know, um, Photoshop Elements is uh, not a recurring monthly cost. It's just a one-off purchase that you can purchase and use for as many years as you like. So it really makes it much more affordable and much more doable if you've um, got a, a creative hobby that you're wanting to use versus being a professional photographer who can uh, write off a business expense of $40 a month for the cloud um, version of Photoshop as we call it, full Photoshop. So Photoshop Elements is based on the same engine as Photoshop. It is aimed more at a consumer or a hobbyist, and therefore it has a lot more guided edits and uh, user-friendly things explaining the features and helping you all to use them. And if you need extra help, that's why you're here. Here at my YouTube channel, we have hundreds of videos to help you learn Photoshop Elements and use it for your memory keeping, for editing your photos and for creating digital scrapbook pages. Well, thank you so much for joining me um, today for this quick Q&A. If you have any questions I didn't answer, go ahead and leave them below in the comments. Give me a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed this video. We might do some more live Q&As, you never know. Now that I've got faster internet, I can just pop on and do some live streaming, which is um, something new. I haven't been able to do this in quite a few years. So thanks for joining me. Um, let me know, are you planning to upgrade to Photoshop Elements 2020? And uh, what feature would you love to see in Photoshop Elements. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like to learn more about Photoshop Elements or digital scrapbooking, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.